This tutorial is going to talk about how to create a sil uh, silhouette in Illustrator, so how to outline an image to create a nice silhouette. Uh, now starting out, I'm going to be in Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to open up my image in Photoshop first. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to find where I have my image saved, so I have it on my desktop. Um, I'm going to hit Open. Now the reason why we are working in Photoshop first is because we are going to edit the image uh, so that the silhouette or the outline of this person really stands out and makes it a lot easier to um, outline and find where all of the edges are, especially up in the hair and different uh, kind of angles of the clothing where it might get a little more detailed. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to add an adjustment layer to make it black and white. So I'm going to go up to Layer down to new adjustment layer and then I'm gonna go down to black and white I'm gonna hit OK now at first it might look a little bit trickier like it kinda of had the reverse effect um, but we're going to edit the coloring in the background so we're gonna make it a lot lighter now since we used a green screen in the background of these images it's really easy all you have to do is go to where the green uh, is in the middle here and I'm going to click on that little tab and drag it all the way up so it's basically getting rid of our background, making those edges really clear. Something else to keep in mind is that um, sometimes it might take off parts of uh, the figure since there might be some sort of reflection on maybe the feet. Uh, so if you wanted to darken the person, you can um, click on this little hand here, this little slider, and you're going to be able to click on the person and drag, and it's going to kind of darken that outline. Again, give it more contrast, make it easier to see. Now let's say that I had an image like this where um, my person or whoever I'm creating the silhouette of is wearing something white or something lighter, uh, where if we were to bring out that white in the background, it's going to make it really hard to see because you have the white shirt compared to the white background. So what you could do for this instance is click and drag it the opposite way. So now you have this darker outline. And if you really wanted that hair to stand out more, you can click on this little uh, slider here and adjust that so that the hair stands out a lot more. The last step in Photoshop before we move on to Illustrator is to save your image. So what I'm going to do is go up to File, Save As. Now you want to keep this as a Photoshop format, so do not change it. Um, leave it as the Photoshop instead of JPEG. Uh, type your last name as the title and then hit Save. As soon as you have your image saved, um, you're going to go ahead and open up Illustrator. Alright, so starting out in Illustrator, we have to open up a new document to begin working. So I'm going to go to File, New. Um, and then I'm going to give it a title, so I'm going to type in my last name and then type uh, Silhouette. And then hit OK. Now you're going to go up to File Place so that you can place the document that we just created in Photoshop. So it should be saved as that Photoshop uh, format. I'm going to hit Place and then I'm going to click. And you'll notice that most of the time the image is going to be a lot larger uh, than the size of the paper, which is this little black outline here. So in order to adjust that so that my image fits and fills uh, the frame here, I'm going to hold down shift, which is very important, and click from the corner and drag until it lines up and fills my page. Now if I did not hold down shift, uh, it's going to most likely stretch your image, so it might be uh, too short or too wide and this can really affect the overall look of your silhouette. It will make it a lot less realistic. So again make sure that you hold down shift and click from the corner and drag your image so that it keeps the same proportions. Before I get started working with the pen tool I want to lock this image so that all the edits that I make um, and all the different uh, outlines do not affect the image. So I want to use that non-destructive editing so I'm going to come over to my Layers panel over here on the right side of the screen and click that blank box to lock my layer. I'm also going to add a new layer, which is very important, so I am able to um, draw on a separate layer and create its own silhouette on Layer 2. 
All right, so now that I have uh, my image uh, created with a new layer, I'm ready to go with the pen tool. So again, the shortcut for that is P, so I'm gonna hit that on my keyboard, and then I have the pen tool out. Now what helps uh, when you're trying to trace the silhouette of images is to zoom in a little bit so you're able to uh, really see the curves and the angles of everything that you're outlining. Now your image might be a little bit pixelated, which is okay. Uh, remember that every time you bring a picture into Illustrator, it still has the potential to be blurry because it is that raster-based image. Um, I'm going to just find a place that I would like to start with, so I'll start over here on um, the side of the face. And I'm going to start and using as few uh, anchor points as possible, I'm going to go ahead and just start tracing around uh, the image here. Now I can always come back and clean up the edges if I need to with the direct selection tool. So I'm going to basically just kind of do a quick run through here, um, trying my best to be as detailed as possible. Now let's say that I have a curve like this where I wanted to kind of bend it a little bit, but then when I go to create the next line, it comes out too far. So you can see how this uh, line kind of curves out where it shouldn't. If I did not want to um, have that curve to continue with, I can just go ahead and click on that anchor point and continue with that straight angle. So that's definitely a nice shortcut to keep in mind as you're working. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue tracing all the way around um, my silhouette here. Every once in a while I'm going to zoom out to make sure I'm doing okay. If this white fill is getting in your way, you can um, click on that little white box with the red line through it and it will get rid of your fill. Um, also if you wanted to change the color of your stroke so it's a little bit easier to see that might be um, a good idea and it could be really helpful as you're outlining. Um, you can also adjust the weight of your um, stroke so you can see it a little bit more so I'm going to adjust that up to three just so it's a bit more visible. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in and continue working. Um, so go ahead and trace around your silhouette. Um, remember to be as detailed as possible for now. However, uh, we will come back and make corrections with the direct selection tool. Um, especially when you get to smaller details like this, I would zoom in and um, be as detailed as possible without using too many anchor points. So go ahead, outline your silhouette now. And then we'll go ahead and start talking about how to create the um, edits with the direct selection tool. All right, so now I'm going to begin editing everything now that I have my outline complete. Um, I'm going to be using my direct selection tool, which is that white arrow tool. Uh, the shortcut for this is A on your keyboard, so if you hit that, it will automatically bring up the direct selection tool for you. Uh, now looking at the top of the head here, you can see there's a little bit of white space um, before, before the hair. Uh, so if I wanted to fix that, I could either adjust the curve of my handle. So I'm just clicking on where this handle is, this line, and either extending it, moving that around to try and get uh, kind of the best curve to the top of the head. Um, I can also click an anchor point and pull that uh, anchor point in a bit to adjust it as well. Um, and the best thing to do is just kind of play around with it until you're happy with um, how everything is filled in. So I'm just going to go around the outside of um, my figure here, around my silhouette, and make sure that everything is um, adjusted correctly. So using that white uh, arrow or the direct selection tool, go around the outline of your silhouette and make sure that you have everything um, outlined the best that it can be. Now that I have everything outlined and adjusted how I want it to be, I can go ahead and fill in my silhouette. So I'm going to go over to uh, the right over here and select the color that I would like to use for my silhouette. So I'm going to uh, choose black for now. Um, now if you notice, this little section of the arm needs to be taken out, so we need to use the compound path. Um, but go ahead on to the next video uh, to find out a more detailed way to do this. Um, and I'll talk about a better way to take pictures uh, for your silhouette.